I want to explain to you the most important concept that I teach, one of them I should say, triads. I've shouted it from the mountaintops on my channel since I started this whole thing in 2016. Triad. 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 And I've not swayed on my opinion that they are the most important chord in music and many guitar players will most likely agree with me, including Jimi Hendrix. He's dead, but he probably would agree with me. The point of this lesson is to take songs you already know and show you how these little chords can really change everything about these progressions to make them your own. And that's my favorite thing to do when I'm covering music. Of course, it's fun to learn stuff note for note and be inspired by that, but it's also fun to take that little canvas and mold it into something of your own. There's no rules after all. You can't tell me what to do unless you're Don Henley, which we'll get to later in this video. First chords we'll get to are the intro chords to Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. The original intro goes a little something like this. <laughs> harmony in your ear. We're just dealing with those two chords. This is the beauty of knowing these triads is you can play chordally all across the guitar neck instead of just individual notes. Like you think about playing across the guitar neck like soloing, but really knowing different chord shapes and being able to take little bits of those to build solos from, that can be the ultimate power of triads along with the rhythm guitar aspects, which are many. This is a preview lesson of Guitar Super System. I've done a complete overhaul of the music theory section. And the goal with my triad practice is if you take away all the music around the guitar playing and just isolate the triads, you can hear the chords happening. And even though maybe I'm only playing an individual note, I'm highlighting the chords. And that is what the triads can do for you is really lead the listener's ear even if there's no musical context behind. That is effective melody making. So as you can see here, we actually have a D major root position position triad and we also have stacked right on top this first inversion major triad so you can see with our triad arpeggio knowledge maybe you could find that little shape right there all of it's connected but the point of this lesson is not to learn the chord progression note for note as cool as it is it's to play around with it using your triad knowledge And I'm just moving these positions up so you can visually see the differences in the triad shapes, but you could also ergonomically play this much simpler. Instead of, as we know, the notes of the guitar can be tricky because we have the same note here, here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So that's why I teach triads and everyone teaches triads broken out into string sets, four different string sets, right here, right here, right here, right here, and they are numbered one, two, three, and four, respectively. The construction is different because the strings are different pitches. So these pitches here, major triad, first inversion, string set one, sounds exactly the same as a major triad, first inversion, string set two right here and a first inversion major triad in string set three, and a first inversion major triad string set four. But as we can see, you can play that in a different octave. All along the watchtower, what do you know, a Jimi Hendrix song is my favorite chord progression to practice triads with because it outlines the two most important triads, in my opinion, major and minor. <laughs> We've heard this progression forever in classic rock songs like Stairway to Heaven. Metallica. So 
both of those happen to be in A minor. This progression happens all over the place in music and in no better place is it on display than in All Along the Watchtower. <laughs> We're not talking about the melody here, but actually letting this note bloom without attacking it. Sometimes I accidentally miss the string and that's how I discovered that little trick. But anyway, getting to the triadic formula for this. We have a C sharp minor in root position here. And then we have B major and A major, both root position. There are so many different ways you can mess with this formula because as we know we can just replace different points where these root position triads happen with inversions. So instead of playing right here our C sharp minor root position, we could move it up here. And keep these ones the same or replace them. So maybe you're playing with another guitar player and they're doing the Hendrix thing. You could potentially be over here. Now, this is obviously an embellishment. And that's what Hendrix was known for. And that is one of my favorite things about triads. Obviously, you can identify this in so many guitar players' guitar playing. That's the influence of Hendrix and players like him. John Frusciante, John Mayer, Stevie Ray Vaughan, those guys come to mind as well. But this sort of flourish technique is really accessible and really easy with different root position and really any inversion triad. You can find these little flourishes that is taking whatever third of the triad and pushing it up to a fourth. So that one, you can hear, doesn't quite work. It doesn't always work. The note has to technically be in the natural minor scale. In this case, we have this note that's not in the natural minor scale. Obviously, these ones are. So you have to be careful when you're using these triads without necessarily knowing the music theory, which is totally fine to do. Just learn these positions and use your ear to figure out, okay, don't do that if it works for you. But I would say a basic Hendrix move would be to do something like this. See, I'm using my thumb to play the bass note. You don't have to do that. You can see my thumb, the way I learned to play guitar, the way a lot of players play guitar is they hang their thumb over. So it just naturally goes there for me. If we were to take this chord progression and embellish, let's see what happens when we start picking and choosing different triads and really trying to overemphasize this fact right now that you can replace different triads where you know your root positions are with inversions. C sharp minor, our open B and E strings are available to make things just a little more dreamy sounding in this case. So a lot of places that you can take this very basic chord progression and really spice it up with some basic triad shapes. The last song to demonstrate this concept of transforming chord progressions with triads is to take a chord progression that is inherently a triadic progression. The guitar solo is made up of triads primarily, but I tried to play this and it got blocked once, so I don't even try and attempt to get close to, yes I do. I'm gonna try and get close to it, but Dance around the copyright strike. I won't even say the name of the song, but it's in B minor to start.
I think we all know what that is. It might be an Airbnb Florida or something like that. But you'll notice I did a little work for you already here. The actual chords are something different, but the way you can use triads to convey this chord progression, it's pretty awesome. It gives the listener everything they need to know. So you can hear how they may have come up with a guitar solo for that song. And if you ever thought about this song, it's sort of like a smooth, elegant walk through a mysterious land, but it also could be a rock song. sound conveys exactly what the harmony is and triads prove once again that they are the best tool for conveying harmony and the most important chord in music in my opinion if you enjoyed this lesson check out guitar super system the entire music theory section has been completely revamped and updated there's a link in the description and you can find all my different curriculums all packaged into one beautiful subscription so please check that out if you want to support me and learn guitar in the process i really appreciate all of your support and viewership and i'll see you in the next video and until then i don't have a pick to flick at you i dropped it keep shredding